Today I'm going to shorten the stock of a Ruger American Predator. I've read you can get this limb saver butt pad for the Ruger American. I think they had a kid's edition or whatever that had a shorter stock. So you can cut exactly one inch off the back of the stock and this is supposed to fit perfect. Let's find out. So this tape is just barely under one inch wide. So that's gonna be my cutting line to keep it straight. I've got it flush with the back. Except for here, you know, it angles. So I put an extra piece of tape across the top to try to give me a guide. Using my finger as a guide. I'm cutting this on the bench. I'm not kind of video cutting it. That way the saw doesn't come across. Just slowly work across. I'm using a miter box saw. See, there's a second set of holes in here with this limb saver pad. Let's see, where are we? You can tell. I mean, they line up almost perfect. Fit is really close. Let me get this cleaned up and we'll see how it is. I wrapped it in a towel and stuck it in my vise and cleaned it up with my drywall sander. Now I'm going to make sure it's all square. I've got, I'm gonna tape this down. And then I can sand. that as a straight edge to get everything perfectly flat and square. You can stand it up, see if you're square. I think we're close. Pretty straight and square. Stands up on its own, both sides. Looks about the same to me. It's not wobbly, everything's flat. If you got granite countertops, that's even better. Cause it's really super flat, but don't tell your wife. I went and deburred it with some 180 all the way around, just so it's not a sharp edge. And then I'm gonna put on a uh, cheek riser and then deburr everything and clean it up and see how it works. Fits really good. There's a little bit of adjustability. It's off a touch right there, which you could shorten it more to make it perfect, but I think it's great. I'm happy with it, it's square. Fits nice. These marks are for the Kydex cheek rest from Matthew's Fabrication. There's enough videos of that. I'm not going to make one. And let's go from there. I had to cut one of the bolts off. So to protect it from corrosion, I've got one of those gun bluing kits. Oh, I think I bought it at Cabela's. So I blued it to keep it from uh, corroding, rust, whatever. Came out good. So the butt pad I used is the Limb Saver Air Tech, part number 10824 for Ruger American. Um, I can't remember if they call it a child's or a small, I don't know what they call it but it's the shorter stock. We're all done. I kept the cheek rest as far back as I could, hoping I could remove the bolt. 
but the T-Chris still had to be comfortable. And pull the bolt out. One-handed. Can pull the bolt out. Open my scope cap. Rotate it. And just sneak it out. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Later.